Hey y'all, welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, hey, my name is Tay. I'm a personal trainer in Dallas. And today is really exciting and scary because I am going to sell my car to a car vending machine company called Carvana. This is probably going to be one of the last times that I talk to you in this car, if not the last time. I purchased this Hyundai Santa Fe Sport in 2017 on Labor Day weekend for what they wanted was $27,000. It used to be a loaner car, which means that it sat on the lot and people who were needing to use a vehicle while their car was in the service department at the dealership, they could take this car and use it for a couple of hours or days and then bring it back. So it only had about 6,000 miles on it whenever I purchased it. And now it's got 30,975 miles. That is not bad for over three years of use. I am very happy and pleased with this car. We have gotten through a lot. I started my vlogging channel with this car. I have started my career in this car and I don't know. I don't know why we get so attached to things, but it's gonna be a sad and a happy day, I guess. Since the pandemic kind of happened, my husband has been working from home and only two days a week I run hit classes at a studio in another city that's very close to the one that we live in. But also my clients for my personal training business come to me. So we don't really need two cars right now. We are not upside down on this car, which means that we don't owe more money than it's worth, which I will get into all of that once Carvana comes and meets me tomorrow bright and early in the morning to load up my car and take it away and purchase it. Of course, they are going to buy my car from me. Again, there's no real reason why we need two car payments right now, plus wear and tear eventually, you know, the tune-ups that these cars need and things like that. There's just no reason for it for my husband and I. So we have made the decision to sell one of our cars and mine will go first. <laughs> I am just ready to save some money and be able to use that money to travel and that is the plan. And I'm not going to wash my car. My car isn't dirty. I mean, it's kind of dusty from the dog hair, but my car isn't super dirty on the outside or on the inside. I could look back at this footage and be like, oh my gosh, yes it was. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> but for right now, I don't think that it's a big issue. I think they're still gonna give me what they told me that they would with or without a washed vehicle. I could be wrong, I don't wanna jinx anything. And I will update you on all of the things that Carvana has promised me thus far and what I have to expect for tomorrow morning. It is pickup day for the Carvana tow truck to come and load up my car and take it away. I am sitting in the parking lot right now. I pulled my car out of the garage so it was easier for all of the Carvana employees to come and retrieve my vehicle. It is a little past nine and I did have an appointment at nine but because the weather is really gross. I think that the employees that are coming my way kind of took a little bit of time to get here safely. Totally okay. They're gonna be here in about 15 minutes. And what I know so far is that one employee is going to come to my car. He's going to get in my car, make sure that it is exactly as described, make sure that it runs well, make sure that everything is good to go. And then he's actually going to take it and maybe drive a little less than a mile just to make sure everything goes smoothly. He's gonna have me sign some documentation along with my husband because we are both co-owners on this vehicle. He's gonna hand me over the check and then the tow truck is gonna come later on today to pick up my vehicle and take it to the Carvana dealership slash the Carvana car vending machine. I'm not really sure where my car is gonna go right now. How do I feel? It's kind of a weird feeling, honestly. Again, I still feel the same that I did yesterday. I'm happy to be able to save up some money. And if we do need to get another car, if we realize, oh my gosh, this is not what we thought it was going to be and this is way too hard to share a car, 
then we can go ahead and have that option to purchase another vehicle or lease another car. Very fortunate to be able to do that. So let's get into numbers. Once the Carvana employee comes here, his name is Oscar. Once Oscar gets here, he will be able to make sure that everything drives correctly and once he hands me the check that is the estimated number that Carvana gave me online, I will let you know. If it's a little bit more, I will let you know. If it's less, I'll let you know. And why it fluctuated, if it does, I will let you know. I'm gonna go ahead and make sure that Oscar can find me. And I will see you guys once I have signed the documents and told you exactly how much Carvana purchased my car for. A few moments later. All right, so we got everything. I got my license plates, and Oscar was awesome. He really helped us, and it was super quick. That was like a five minute transaction. I've got my check, I filled out some paperwork. I just need to call the toll tag company and probably the company that I have my loan through. But other than that, it's pretty contactless, and I feel pretty good. They gave me a check for the exact amount that I had received online and I owed a little over 14,000 on my car and they purchased it for a little over 15,000. So what I am pocketing is $1,191.43, which was the perfect time to sell my car because I am not upside down on any payments. So this was good. I feel really, really good. We're gonna go inside and stop getting rained on. I hope that you like this video, and if you do, I hope that you stick around because I've got some more exciting stuff coming up. I would highly recommend selling your car to Carvana. Let me know if you have any questions in the comment section below. Bye. One eternity later. It is, bless you, it is several hours later, almost 4.45 p.m., and my car is still here, so I thought that they would have picked it up by now, and I do see that there's a lock box so no one can get into my car, only the tow truck driver will be able to get into it. And then there is a little piece of paper right here where the tow truck driver will be able to scan it and will be able to take my car once everything is good in the system. But it's still here several hours later and we kind of thought that it was gonna be gone by now, but I guess patience is a virtue. <laughs>